I play from the heart. You know, I, I just play what I feel inside. You know, I, I give it 110%, and I think everybody should do that and just try to put a part of you into the song. That's what I think my style is. It's, it's coming from me. You know, I, I grew up in the, in the, the 60s, and, and Elvis Presley was a big influence. You know, I heard the, the first, uh, like, Hana. Of course, I went from there, you know, when I saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, it just, it just changed my life altogether. And, and I know it changed a lot of people's lives, you know, especially with REO, the REO guys, all of us are really influenced by the Beatles. It, it, was, it was just an exciting time in, the, in this. I was growing up in the 60s. Started to, you know, get the kids around the block to, to be in a band and just we do dances and high school, <laughs> high school gymnasiums and any, anything we could do just to play. You know, the more you played, the, the better you got. And, you know, Jimi Hendrix was coming out and was, you know, it was like untouchable. Jimi Hendrix was like, oh my God. And, and of course, Eric Clapton, you know, came along and, and all my heroes, you know, you started trying to emulate them and practicing and... <laughs> This project from Gibson, I told them for years I, I really wanted to make a signature model, you know. And this is my Les Paul Access 2 pickup model. The Access model, which is a, a thinner body, and the Access meaning you could get your hand to access the higher frets. This is my, you know, 2 pickup model, which is um, 57 classic pluses. In, in each, a white ebony neck. The color is called Boston Sunset Fade. And I just love the idea of a Floyd Rose on a, on a Les Paul, because you can do so much with it. It just electrifies the guitar to me, a Floyd Rose on it. it just makes it just sing. It locks there and it locks here, so if you stretch out the strings and, and tune it up, it shouldn't go out of tune. The craftsmanship is, is amazing. I just think it's, it's the best possible sound you can, you can get. My dad, he said, if you want to really get serious about a guitar, you have to play a Gibson. So it's stuck in my head from like maybe, I don't know, 14 or 15 years old on. The, the name Gibson, I, I mean, I just look up at that headstock and it just means, it truly means so much to me. And I am so lucky to be in the Gibson family and, and I got a chance to, to have a signature model. I'm just like, on cloud nine about it, you know, with, with all these guitars, I'm still a kid nowadays. <laughs> still to this day, I have that, that feeling which, is, which never went away. And I still have the same feeling, you know, plugging nowadays into a, it's a different, different amp and different guitar, but, but I have the same feeling. I'm still a kid at heart.